Well, some of you folks out there waking up after a late night hockey game, or maybe you have kids in football or basketball, any contact sport opens up the possibility to a concussion. That's what we're talking about on this Wellness Wednesday. Dr. Joni Liu is the author of Knock Out Concussions. She's in Regina for her book tour. Thanks for being here today. Well, it's such a great day to be alive. The Brain Injury Association says that every three minutes, someone is getting a concussion yeah. or a brain injury. Like my son, who was hit so hard on the side of his head that he actually went blind, but he recovered quickly and he's happier and healthier than ever mm -hmm. and that's why I'm so happy to be here to expose the three giant myths about concussions. Yeah, let's talk about those myths. Uh, one of them I, I thought was interesting you say going for an x-ray don't do it. Uh, I think that would be the natural reaction for a lot of people. Something's wrong with my head. Yes. Unfortunately, an x-ray and doing any of that isn't going to tell you anything because an x-ray only sees bone anyways. So what you need to look for are, one, having a lot of headaches, two, feeling dizzy, three, feeling nauseous, and four, having eyesight problems like my son did. The second giant myth about concussions is that you got to stay home and rest. Well, unfortunately for all the thousands of people that suffer from post-concussive syndrome, that was no guarantee of a cure. In fact, doing nothing you're probably wasting your time. And the third giant myth is that you can't make a concussion heal faster. And that's not true either. So you're saying you can. By doing certain things, you can actually make it heal. By doing certain things, you can heal. And that's what leads me to the three things that you must do in order to heal faster. Okay, let's talk about some of those things. I'm, I'm curious now, what can, you, what can people do? I mean, a lot of people out there, a lot of Saskatchewan hockey players especially, that are waking yeah. up identifying with this right now. Yeah. So the first thing that's really important is that that you cut out all alcohol, so no wine, no beer, no hard liquor. The second thing that no, you I must do... I about that one. How, for how long? I mean... <laughs> for as long as they're not feeling well, you know, as long as they have those four symptoms, okay? Okay. Once they start, they'll know when they feel good. Okay. Okay, so it's not forever. That's why I told my son, too. Yeah. <laughs> cut it out. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So the second thing that you must do is to eat all your foods cooked. Because if you're eating a lot of raw foods, a lot of cold foods, and drinking a lot of icy cold drinks, your body is actually forced to warm all that stuff up. So you need to use that precious energy to heal your concussion. And the third thing that's really important is to follow my head formula for healing concussions faster. Okay. Because you've got to use your brain to heal the brain because the mind is powerful and the brain is very emotional okay so what are some of the ways that, that people out there can do that okay so H in head stands for hero so for instance Iron Man. Now, if Iron Man knew that he had a concussion, do you think that he would just lie back and wait for his concussion to go away? No. He's trying to save the world, okay? <laughs> so he's going to be very proactive. Dr. Joni, you're waking people up this morning. Believe me, if they're not up yet, they're getting up right now. Okay, <laughs> well. Well, E is for emotions because your emotional state is so important in the healing process. And so if you're like this guy who's mad, or if you're like <laughs> this guy who's scared, <laughs> then you're actually going to slow down or even shut <laughs> shut down the healing process. Okay, but so what are the how do you deal with your emotions? I mean, like in a practical manner. Well, you have to cultivate optimism and hope. Okay, so I'll get to that in a second here. If you cultivate optimism and hope, seconds. then you're going to be uh, then you're going to speed things up. Now, A is for aim. You've got to have a goal. Everybody knows if you've got a goal, then you're going to be more likely to be successful. So set a goal that you're going to be well. And D is for determination. Determination because you're going to have days when you think, wow, is this ever going to end? But if you set your level of determination on high, then you're going to make healing happen for you. A lot of positive energy is part of that. <laughs> Got to be positive. Okay, Dr. Joni, thanks for being here. The book is called Knock Out Concussions. Go check it out. Thanks for coming in. Thank you very much.